Hey guys, it's Ashton Lua here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and customise my loading screen GUI. The link is in the description of this video if you just want to use it straight away. If you're not, if you already know how to customise it, but if you don't, then you want to download it from the link in my description of this video. Go to Toolbox, go to My Models, and it should be there. There we go. It should be Ashton Lewis loading screen. And if we, it will say he has five scripts because obviously it has scripts in it. So if we click OK, then this folder will show up in your Explorer. You want to open this, delete this README script because I'm just going to show you. And we want to drag this loading GUI into the starter GUI. And you'll see this on your screen. And this will work without doing anything. So if we just click play and wait for it to load. As you can see, it's already low, like without having to do anything, it's just doing it by itself. As you can see, we're loading into the game. But now I'm going to show you how to customise it. So if we go to load, if we open this, it's a mainframe. If you don't know what you're doing with these scripts and scripts in here, then I'd advise you don't do anything with that. But obviously, if you go to title, it says game name you can change it to your game name so like sword fighting game you know change it to whatever cast out at least there we go you can change it to whatever you can change the font over here if you want to be like that yeah, anyway and you can do the same for this loading label right here so if you go to gradient can also change the color gradient so the background so we go here we could make it orange for example see there we go now it's orange and you can also if you want to change the loading icon it's like the icon that spins so if you don't want the roblox logo you can go to images and just search up loading yeah. and we can see there's loads of different loading screens so I'm just going to pick this one copy and then you're going to want to paste the ID into here like that and then what you can also change is if we go to loading manager just open that this is the sound that plays when it's finished loading so as you can see plays that do I have my audio on? Yeah, I do. Okay. As you can see, plays a sound. And you can also change this, go to audio, and just, you know, whatever sound you want. There we go. Paste that in there. And now if we click play, wait for it to load. And it's different now. It's got a new loading screen, the new font, the new gradient, and it's fully customised, and it still works, and the sound plays. So that is about it. Anyway, that's on it for this video. If you want to see more tutorials on any, just tell me in the comments and I'll do it. But yeah, that's it for this video. Like the video if it helped you, and I'll see you in the next video.